All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, it looks like part two of the global Christmas celebration is officially here. So, without further ado, let's uh, pop into the news and see what's going on. So, it says Glittering Winter Night Snowy Adventure Campaign Part 2 is on. Various events will become available. Don't forget to get awesome rewards including Dragonstones and... Winter Night Tons of Thanks Tickets through the Login Bonus and Event Missions. Winter Night Tons of Thanks Tickets can be used to perform summons in the Glittering Winter Night Dokkan Festival, which will become available at 10.30pm uh, PM Pacific Time on December 23rd. Don't miss out on other events including the 39th World Tournament and Explosive Chain Battle versus Dispo. Come join the events and enjoy Dokkan Battle. Okay, so we have some uh, special missions for part two, pretty standard. We have the Glittering Winter Night Dokkan Festival, AKA the actual Christmas banner featuring the sixth anniversary LR SSB Vegeta and AGL UI Goku, as well as the tech Goku and Vegeta slash Gogeta. So this is definitely a banner that a lot of people have been uh, looking forward to quite a bit and um, All I'm gonna say right now is we do have some free summons from the tickets that we've been getting through missions and logins and stuff like that and uh, Tomorrow I'll do a deeper like a deep dive into the banner and talk about whether I feel like people Should be summoning on it um, On the one hand there are some really good featured units on the other hand um, There are a lot of featured units so your chances of getting any specific unit that you want is pretty low, so definitely something to keep in mind. And uh, we also have a lot of other really good banners around the corner, so uh, we'll talk about that later. But anyways, we have the Christmas banner, which is dropping in something like five hours from the time this video comes out. From there, we have some Dragonstone sales, and it looks like they are... Uh, pretty standard aside from this 96 stone pack at the price of 32, which is actually a really good deal. Aside from that, we have the uh, 93 stone packs six times. We have a 100 stone uh, blue dragon stone pack, which I mean, if you need any of the blue dragon stone units, then it might be a decent deal, but that's up to you. But uh, overall, not the best sales I would say I was hoping we would get something better for you know Christmas but uh, I guess it's better than average so from there we have the glittering winter night packs for sale and I'm thinking these ones are uh, mainly for you know the Christmas tickets but maybe there's some other stuff in there like some Kai's some skill orbs some meats the standard stuff but uh, yeah these of course are not free to play they are available for purchase and we also have, ooh, another character can be extreme ZOA. Oh, wait, hold on. It's not the Kefla, is it? I don't think Kefla is from this event. I thought Kefla was available through her own extreme Z battle event. But now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not 100% sure. So let me, let me actually just quickly, very, very quickly look that up. Okay, so... Let's just go on my phone. Fizz Super Saiyan 2 Kefla EZA. And we're on the Dokkan Wiki. And let me see if she gets her own Extreme Z Battle event. Because I thought she did. Uh Oh, never mind. Never mind. Okay, so basically Kefla is Extreme Z Awakening through the, it looks like, Kale and Khalifla medals. Uh, yeah, okay, so you're basically going back to this event if you already Extreme Z Awakened the uh, Berserk Kale and the AGL Khalifla, and then you're getting the medals again, and she needs both medals to Extreme Z Awakened. So I did not remember that. <laughs> I, I gotta be honest, guys, I completely forgot that she does not have her own unique medals. It's actually the Kale and Khalifla medals, and it's, and it's the same event as the Fizz Kale and AGL Khalifla. That's my bad. I'm dumb, but there you go, guys. So the third character they are referring to is the uh, Fizz Kefla, which is obviously really exciting because she's really freaking good, man. Like, absolutely amazing. So 
Yeah, that's great. And we also have the Dispo Explosive Chain Battle, which is starting in about, uh, once again, about five and a half hours. And we have a bunch of Dokkan events available. Actually, all Dokkan events, my bad, all Dokkan events available throughout the duration of the uh, campaign, which is good for people that need to Extreme Z Awaken, or rather, Dokkan Awaken, multiple units. And we have the reopening, or yeah, reopening of the uh, Fusion Skill Orbs event. We have the return of a couple of other story events, like the Fusion Reborn event, the Otherworld event, and also the Universe's Strongest Nipples event. And from there, we have a new um, World Tournament. Obviously, the Genius Bulma's Battle Prep event is back for some, uh, what do you call them, support items. I just forgot for a second. Support items. And uh, the 39th World Tournament for Global is starting on the 30th. So in about seven days, about a week from now. And there's also, of course, the World Tournament banners. We have the World Tournament support packs, which I don't think are worth it. But if you want to buy them, up to you. And uh, also the Dragon Ball um, story events as well. The Adventure of Gratitude and also the Bizarre Rabbit Mob event coming back, as they always do, for the World Tournament. And the rest of the events are for Part 1, so we don't have to go through those again, but that is Part 2, guys. Quite a few new things, I would say. Um, new World Tournament is big. Uh, this event coming back is great for people that still need skill orbs for their fusions unit. And we also have the new Explosive Chain Battle, Extreme Z Awakening for Kefla, and the uh, Christmas banner, which is, um, once again, not a terrible banner, but maybe not one that you want to spend too many stones on, but we'll talk about that tomorrow, and I guess that is pretty much it, guys. Let me just quickly check the rest of the news to see if there's anything we're missing. I don't really think so. Uh, in terms of missions, we're getting some tickets, we're getting some stones, getting some Kai's, all your standard stuff, and... There's also this, a server maintenance. Interesting. So there's a maintenance on the 29th from, uh, looks like 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I'm not 100% sure what this is for. Maybe, maybe the New Year's banner, but I don't remember there being a maintenance last year, actually. But once again, uh, my memory is pretty bad. You know, like I forgot that Kefla didn't have her own event, so. Maybe we get the maintenance every year, I just don't remember. It's possible, for sure. But uh, that is part two of the global Christmas celebration, guys. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys are the most excited for. For me, it's probably gotta be Kefla's Extreme Z Awakening. I gotta be honest, it's gotta be Fizz Super Saiyan 2 Kefla's EZA. But the World Tournament is pretty exciting too, I mean, to be honest, like it doesn't really get me going because I know it's going to be really, a uh, really busy time, like close to New Year's. Um, this is coming on the 30th, so I don't know if I necessarily want to start the year by grinding World Tournament, you know what I mean? So I'm not sure how hard I'm going to go for this World Tournament, but I'll probably get my 30 million points, get my free copy of the World Tournament reward, and uh, I might just call it a day after that. We'll see though. Maybe I'll go harder, maybe not. Either way, um, that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys are excited for all the new stuff that's coming. Obviously, there is going to be the New Year's banner, which is dropping on New Year's, I believe, or like on the 31st. And uh, that one is definitely great value for most people, especially new players. We'll talk about that later as well. But uh, that's all I got to say. As always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.